Hi guys, so welcome to the circus. So here we have another card fight for you guys. So this is gonna be yours truly on the left side playing my bunnies. And then this is gonna be Sir PJ playing his Yasuye. So we're gonna be using Clan Collection Volume 2 stuff. So this is gonna be a proxy fight. And I believe both decks are already been showcased and, and on this channel uh, at the very least. So yeah, this is gonna be pretty interesting because you've actually seen how both of these decks play out and let's see the matchup that we have right here so looking at this we're gonna be just doing usual stuff mulligan and actually in this matchup it's quite interesting because we're both uh, Axel so we're just bashing face but let's see who farms more and as you saw on the previous video using Yasuye um, that deck farms a lot and compared to mine we actually can compare a bit when it comes to pluses but i think yasuye pluses more with this variant so you know what let's see what happens here so we are gonna be riding on to takihime with the stop seven search so yeah and that was kind of an oopsie but you still draw a card from the starter and we are gonna be proceeding with our second turn no we're gonna be going second and then we're gonna ride grade one so we're gonna ride on to masquerade bunny so it's a uh, grade 3 searcher on top 5 and we're gonna quick shield and a draw okay so what can we do here so we're gonna draw and then get a quick shield first and then check top 5 we're gonna be fetching a golden beast tamer from the top 5 guards so that's a good piece to have not early but in the late game i genuinely believe that um golden beast tamer should be played not early but in the late game so we're gonna be ditching our quick shield there because it's just a free fodder for that skill we're gonna be not committing any more cards so we're gonna be swinging for eight we're gonna be checking a chlorina goes down there goes a shida yuki to the damage zone riding on to the uh, what do you call it? Sickle. Flight Sickle. So we're going to be taking that one because we need the damage. There goes an Amusing Bunny. I would love, I would have loved to have it in my hand to be honest. But yeah, let's see what happens here. We're going to be riding on to Chlorina. So we need two more bunnies. So we're going to be calling down a Brassy Bunny skill to drop a card and draw a card. So let's see. We're going to be cycling. We're going to drop a PG and draw into a Chlorina. So that wasn't a bunny, sadly. So if we have just one more bunny we can perform twin drive on our second turn so let's see if we have the second bunny do we have it or not so at least we um we're gonna be removing that shirayuki to the damage zone for now unless he heals and he will heal it out he will need to heal that out because it's a good piece to have and compared to the power level of what my deck can provide of Shirayuki would be really useful both offensively and defensively. So we do have the third bunny that we have for the uh, for the double not double drive twin drive. So we're gonna be calling down Masquerade Bunny from our hand, checking the top five cards once again. Let's see if we get something good. So what will we fetch? Okay, we get oh we get a grade three heal guardian so that's a good application of that unit i mean that trigger so we're gonna be getting it and since he goes to grade three first i can just help uh, possibly survive because i have the heal guardian that can possibly give me an instant defensive or just basically not let one unit uh damage me so yeah we do have three bunnies now one in soul and two on board so we have the twin drive for our chlorina we're gonna be swimming for 9k twin drive skill move that unit to the soul and call out rising dragon so okay we're gonna be taking that back let's see what will he do okay let's see what will we do will we use the skill or just go for the twin draft that's the question it's actually optional so we are going to be using that and call out chlorina from our soul 9k twin drive first check a okay nothing there okay nothing gbt and a midnight bunny and there goes a defensive but we did call a card from soul so that masquerade bunny is going to go to 13 this is 21 he's got a guard for 15 and then pass the turn he has two damage now i have a heal guardian and let's see what happens here so we're going to be um no no no, no. sir pj is going to be riding on to Yasuya getting Axel to draw a card so let's see what board will he do I believe in this recording while we were playing he said that since um, he knows that I have a heal heal guardian in hand he will just farm cards instead of just um, 
committing a lot of cards on the board so <laughs> look at what he does here so he has two new dos and he called the flight cycle from the uh, from his hand and called out the flight cycle from the drop zone that he yes he just soul blasted i guess so yeah let's see here he's gonna be dropping a card using abazu skill to copy the name i believe he's gonna copy new do to proc the two new dos on the end phase Let's see. Well, oh yeah, he will copy the Nudo. So everybody gets boost. And since we have the third Nudo on board, if he has just enough materials on not uh, just enough um, units on the board, he will plus a lot plus the soul. So no rewrite. He's gonna swing for 24 to my Vanguard. That's a good magic number. Versus a two versus a XL clan like me. So he's gonna be using our heal guardian so what skill will we use i believe we used um the plus 10k here because the units we have on the board or he has on the board can be shut down by one defensive so he's going to be committing an intercept okay he gives the, pow the power to that flight cycle and then a heal two triggers the heal goes off he has a heal guardian in hand but it doesn't really matter at this point because he's already at 3-3 so right here he's gonna be healing out the shirayuki which is a bit scary so we're still gonna be oh no no he's still gonna be able to hit because um he gave the power to that flight cycle which is sitting at 19k the other one is gonna be 26 the other one will be 14 24 so we did check another defensive so that's two defensive now we're at 29 that won't hit anymore so he's gonna be hitting onto my masquerade bunny which is some to be honest uh i wanted to keep that but i don't have the hand cards to guard it so he's gonna be swinging for 26 not able to hit anymore because it's a 14 plus a 12 so it's 26 because he did call it from uh, uh, using a superior call that card will be going to the bottom of the deck and drawing a card and then right there is gonna be going to end phase so he has five he will be moving one card I mean one unit to the soul and draw a card so he farmed four cards in that turn <laughs> that's pretty good so we're gonna be riding onto our Tila Eep so Okay, let's see what happens here. So currently he removed one of my bunnies. Actually, that was also a misplay because since Brassy Bunny is now vanilla, I should have swapped the two because it actually matters. We actually um, misplay there, but it's okay. So we have two bunnies now. So everybody gets plus 2k. Let's see. Will we use Tila Apes' skill first or not? Will we commit will we commit more cards from our hand? Or just basically um, um, fuel our soul? and put some useful pieces to our soul using that skill we do have a chlorina in our hand so it's pretty good so we're going to be putting in uh, an amaranth beast tamer i believe and a rising dragon so we're going to be calling the rising dragon and the chlorina making chlorina into a vanguard and then making the rising dragon get plus 10k since we called two units now we're going to be calling down a uh, amusing bunny so oh, another bunny so it's a midnight bunny and a amusing bunny so we now have a total of four four bunnies in the field and soul at the moment so that's plus 4k to the entire front row oh we have five so plus 5k to the front row okay pretty good pretty good okay let's see what will we do here so our board is actually pretty solid but we do have a very little hand size at the moment but let's see what happens with our drive checks later on so this board is actually one of the most optimal boards that we can do at least this bun this deck can do in the early game using um chlorina as our additional vanguard so we're going to be swinging with our 29 that was 24 no 24 so he's going to be guarding for 15 27 that's enough this is 16 21 asking for 10k shield and let's see here so at the end of the battle that amusing bunny attacked or boosted we're gonna be moving one card from our field to the soul we're gonna be scooping back our rising dragon to reuse that rising dragon later so we're gonna be finally swinging with our vanguard for a soul charge one that's a that's a jill that's actually really good we have an on hit now using jill i mean our um uh, what do you call it Ma midnight bunny so that's another pressure if he lets it hit i can reset another column using jill because i did high roll soul charge her so he's gonna be committing a pg to prevent that from happening we're gonna be drawing a card 
and then heal so it's a big heal actually we're gonna be giving every single power to our vanguard the additional vanguard which is the chlorina so we're gonna be swinging for 34 39 skill chlorina we're gonna be putting a card from our hand uh, from our hand to the soul we're gonna be putting a chlorina call out a jill and then reset the amusing bunny to that column in order to put it back again to the soul after we swing to that column so we're gonna be taking that he's gonna be taking that we check a crit crit power and then power to um um or our our jill and then since the attack went through and then he didn't check a, a single defensive so he takes the last one moving back to the soul our jill and just keeping our key pieces in the soul that easy so pretty good so we're gonna be proceeding now to our uh yasuya player kuya pj third so let's see what happens here will he re-ride or not let's see uh, he has a lot of P he has a lot of um cb to work with at the very least that's actually kind of kind of um important thing to take note of because the more takihime he has on the board the more attacks he can perform yeah that's about it so he's gonna be calling out takihime and then using um yasuya's skill to cb1 soul blast one revive the nudo from the drop zone and one sickle from the deck so since that sickle is gonna be able to um go back to the bottom of the deck and draw a card he will be plusing a lot of cards again so he's just farming here and finally calling awazu to drop the tanma to perform the rewrite so he has a lot of attacks right now he can produce an excel this turn and takihime can cb1 and call another unit so that's a lot of attacks uh, a lot of attacks so and let's see here we're sitting at one damage at the very least so it's still a pretty good spot to be in okay let's see here he's gonna be swinging for 12 okay we're gonna be going for a two to pass here 15k 27 okay checks a crit will be what where where will he put it okay he gives everything to that awozu column not the excel just that column with the uh new dog boosting it now he's gonna be discarding too discarding a zanji and a crit he's gonna be rewriting onto the tenma that he dropped before using that awozu with a crit so getting excel to draw a card and then let's see here he's gonna be using takihime to cb1 revive anything that he has the same game on the board what will be will he revive will he revive another sickle will he revive another nudo let's see he's reviving a nudo so another plus and let's see here he's gonna be swinging for 21 drive i'm gonna be taking it drive check a grade one it's gonna be grade one and again going down no defensives swinging for 17 let's see if i need to guard this i need a 10k that's actually quite annoying <laughs> so taking that finally a defensive draw a trigger Okay, he's gonna be swinging onto my Chlorina on the rear guard, but I take it because I don't need to guard it. I guess, I guess. And he's gonna be swinging, he's gonna be swinging for four, uh, 14 plus 12, 26. He's still able to hit, but asking for 5k shield. So the add uh, the last attack, I believe it's gonna be um, 19, 19 with a crit plus um, 12 is 19, 29, 31 with a crit. Okay, let's see what happens here. So what will we do in order to guard this of course we're need, we're gonna need to guard that unit so he's gonna be putting that to the bottom of the deck and draw card since it is superior called he's gonna be swinging with a 31k column with two crits we're gonna be guarding to 37 and then he's gonna be proccing a lot of cards he has five he's gonna be moving the unit to the soul draw a card and then move that again to soul draw a card and then he has five he can actually proc that that card is a nudo right okay he's not proccing it okay that's pretty interesting he didn't he didn't bother to draw another card maybe he wants that in his in his board instead in order to revive another nudo next turn so yeah that's uh, that's actually quite an interesting choice we're gonna be rewriting onto uh, tila eeps and then calling golden beast tamer and we have three cbs that's more than enough and then right here we're gonna be using our tila eeps or we're gonna be checking our soul if what cards do we need right now in order to possibly uh, push a little bit more in order to maximize our golden beast tamer turn it actually depends um you have two choices we have chlorina which extends one attack and then um golden beast tamer extends two attacks but with a cost of a cb so that's something to keep in mind of so we're gonna be dropping a no no we're gonna be calling down a um brassy bunny to discard the other 
uh, tilaib from our from our hand and then we're gonna be calling i mean so drawing a card and then if we have a grade 3 vanguard we're gonna soul charge too so right there we're gonna be using our tilaib's skill to cb1 just i mean cb1 put two cards from our hand to the soul we're gonna be putting two bunnies that's gonna be adding to our power on the board we're gonna be calling out a uh, amaranth beast tamer and a um, rising dragon so since rising dragon is radic yet again a called unit and we have two cards called that unit will get plus 10k continuously for the turn so since we have 10k on that and then we have one two three four five six seven eight plus um golden beast tamer as our vanguard we're gonna be plusing eight plus three k to the front row it's 11k to the front row as long as we have five units on the board available in order to have our passive skill from our golden beast tamer so he's gonna be guarding for 20k from that 16 plus 11 so it's 28 yep okay so we're gonna be he's gonna be taking the other one so that's swinging for 24 35 <laughs> big numbers here's gonna be, we're gonna be swinging out for 20k moving that unit to the soul we're gonna be swinging for 31 to the opponent let's see he's um i'm, I'm now ask, asking for 20k shield that is a okay that was a 15k i was short 5k we're we forgot that we were using heal guardians right now we're still not used to it my bad about that so we're gonna be swinging with our vanguard now for 20 31 32 actually because we sold charge a bunny so it's gonna be 5 plus 8 plus oh wait is that an 8 is that an 8 no it's supposed to be 8 right so yeah let's see here so we're gonna be drawing a card and he's gonna be guarding that for a um uh no pass he's gonna be pging that one and then we're gonna be swinging with our golden beast tamer to cb1 put another bunny to the soul adding another power to the board we're gonna be moving that and then call two cards from our soul to the front row we're gonna be calling out the rising dragon to the excel and jill resets a column calling out a um <laughs> bunny masquerade bunny okay so that masquerade bunny we're gonna, we're gonna be uh is gonna be getting another 5k because we did call a card from soul continuously this turn and rising dragon will get himself plus 10k again and then right here we're gonna be swinging for 27 plus 12 39 yeah 27 39 to win drive so let's see here do we have exactly 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 yeah 12 cards so yeah plus 9 9 plus 3 so it's 12 so 12 plus um 27 so 39k twin drive so he's gonna be using shida yuki from his hand soul blasting 2 and minusing the 10k from the board i mean the remaining three attacks so we're just gonna be removing the plus 10k overall to the front row just to mid uh just to uh make that work we are gonna be going on to uh how much we're gonna be 20 39 29 and we're gonna be 32 one to pass and we didn't check any trigger so he might just survive so he's gonna be taking 22 22 plus 2 is 24 so we're just gonna be swinging for 24 that's a 5k shield that's not enough okay the last attack is gonna be 24 26 so we're still asking for 15k shield for each or he's gonna be taking it and he, there goes a draw trigger onto the damage zone on top of the yasui the sweet that he has drew and that was the game that was actually a pretty good game and yeah see you guys next time